Hey everyone, it's Jess, your host for Mondays on the Beaver Bunch, and today was my first day of school. I've already gone to two of my classes, and I have one more class in the evening, and then I'll be done for the day. Uh, the two classes that I took this morning were my sociology classes, and the, the class that I actually just got out of, the professor said that she is a, she's a self-proclaimed feminist with a sense of humor. So hopefully, hopefully we vibe and, and we're on the same page and I do, I do well in the class. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I will keep you updated. I will let you know how it goes. Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm gonna actually jump right into this week's topic. It's it's uh, it's it's an interesting topic. Um, basically, this this girl, she's a viewer. She's 23 now, and the incident that she is discussing happened when she was 16, so about seven years ago. She was basically coming to terms with her sexuality, and that's that's sort of uh, I think an average time in our life when we're when we're figuring all of that stuff out. And so she was looking for a mentor, someone that she could look to for support. And uh, usually it's somebody that is older and wiser and uh, they can give advice and how to, how to just sort of come to terms with everything that you're, you're experiencing. This person chose her cousin who at the time was 30 years old, he's you know, he was a gay, he's a gay man, and I'm assuming that he is also out. And I'm assuming at the time he was out, and that's why she chose him to go talk to. Unfortunately, he decided to out her to their whole family. And she's had this, this weight on her shoulders from him telling the family. They've never really talked about it, and so her first question is, uh, you know, should I just let it go? Is this something that I should talk to him about? My advice is that, yeah, you should you should definitely talk to him about it. It was, uh, you know, a, a vital part of your life. It was a part of your coming out story. And he sort of, I don't know, pulled the rug right out from underneath you. And it, it was completely unfair. I mean, life isn't always fair, but in situations like this, you, you have been carrying around this weight with you for a number of years, and I think that the only way to, to sort of um, relieve any of that stress is to confront him, but confront him in a, in a non-attacking sort of manner. Um, my, my advice is to maybe call him up and ask him to go to coffee or something. I mean, you're, you're a full-blown adult, I would say, by now, and so he should hopefully be able to meet with you on, on an adult level and hopefully answer any questions that you have, uh, regardless, I think, of the, of the outcome of the conversation that you guys have. At least, at least you made the attempt to do it, so, you know, you'll, you'll have some of that weight, like, brushed off of your shoulders and that's my advice about that. I do think that it's something that you should probably talk to him about. Another question that this person asked had to do with outing people. Is it justifiable to out, out someone? And my answer is absolutely not. Never ever is it okay for you to take it upon yourself to out somebody um, if somebody comes to you and, and they, they're trusting you and they're asking for your support in, in this, this part of their life, the last thing you should do is to go and tell anybody about it. It's not like it's a, it's a little grade school secret that they're telling you. This, this is a very major part of people's lives. You just don't out people. This is, like I said, this is their coming out story and they're the ones that are gonna decide, you know, who, who they come out to, when they come out to them, how they come out to them. I mean, all of that, that is that is their prerogative. If somebody does come to you with that, that information, the best thing you can do is just, just be supportive. You might not have all the answers, but that's not what they're always looking for. That's not what we're always looking for. We're just looking for someone, just for someone to talk to. 
that's, you know, if you can just be an ear, perfect. You're good to go. Also keep in mind, I mean, that's sort of what, you know, that's what the Beaver Bunch is about. I remember back, back when I was 16, 17 years old, and I was figuring all this stuff out, and I would have... I would, I would have loved to have had someone who was, you know, some older, wiser person that I could go to and and just talk to and, and pick their brain. I can't think of any one specific person that I went to to get advice from. So that's the main reason why we put the Beaver Bunch together. We know that it's it's absolutely vital for that age group, people that are just coming to terms with their sexuality, to have someone to help answer some questions. So that's what we're here for. My main advice is that if you feel that it is, it is necessary to get this weight off of your shoulders, call them up. Uh, ask them to coffee and, and just, just get it off your brain. I think it's really important to, to do that. So good luck with that. Thank you so much for writing in. I hope you guys have a really great week. I will talk to you guys next Monday. I'll be here somewhere. Bye, guys.